Hi, this is my latest book, uh, Eva and the Hidden Diary. In this book, uh, Eva and Kate are on their holidays, but before they can get started and go and have fun, Eva's mum insists that the two of them go and clean up the dirty old shed at the back of the garden. Hours later, Kate and I were almost finished. We'd filled up ten rubbish bags, and apart from an ugly old china vase, we hadn't found anything worth keeping. Here, this is the last thing I said as I reached into the furthest, darkest corner of the shed to pick up an old biscuit tin. Maybe there's treasure inside that tin, said Kate. Maybe it's a secret stash of gold and silver and diamonds and pearls. Maybe we're going to be rich. I laughed. This tin is probably full of useless junk, just like everything else we found in this dump. I bet there's something amazing inside, said Kate. Bring it out onto the grass so we can have a proper look. I did what she said. It was nice to be back in the sunshine again. This is so amazing, said Kate. It's like going back in time. I bet no one has seen or touched this box for years and years. The cloud came over the sun and I shivered. Kate held the bottom of the box while I used both hands to lift the lid off. Suddenly I couldn't help feeling a little flutter of excitement. Maybe there was going to be something amazing inside after all. Oh, I said disappointed, as I saw the rolled up piece of white material inside. It's only a dirty old rag. I reached in and took out the fabric. Something tumbled out of it and onto the ground next to me. I picked it up, half afraid that it was going to fall apart in my hands. What is it? asked Kate. It was a dirty old book. It's just, I said, and then I stopped talking as I turned the book over in my hands and read what it said on the cover. OMG, I said. It's a diary. We found someone's ancient old diary. I opened the first page and gasped. The handwriting was beautiful, all fancy curves and loops. It was dull and faded, but I could still read what it said. This is the diary of Daisy Bridget Lavelle, June the 6th, 1947.